Hello, I'm Julian for Bishop Sullivan, the letting specialist in Brighton Hove, and this video is aimed at tenants looking to minimise the deposit deductions at the end of a tenancy. As you may be aware, there are three deposit schemes, the TDS, My Deposits and DPS. All UK de uh, deposits are maximum of five weeks since the 1st of June 2019. The deposit must be registered from the day of receipt and the registration certificate must be given to tenants along with the prescribed information document within 30 days of the start of tenancy. If there's no inventory or check-in at the start and then check out at the end of the tenancy, it's impossible to prove differences and therefore deductions. Now, contrary to popular belief, less than 1% of all UK deposits actually end in disputes. So what are the disputes about? Well, 56% relate to cleaning, 43% relate to damage, 30% to decoration, 13% gardening and 17% rent arrears. So let's look at each one. Cleaning. Clearly, you need to get this one right. If your property was clean when you moved in and if your tenancy agreement states the property must be clean when you move out, guess what will happen if you don't clean? So we've got some cleaning tips for you. Number one, book your cleaner four weeks in advance, especially in August, September peak market. Number two, do you eat in a busy or an empty restaurant? A busy cleaner is probably a good cleaner too. Number three, cheap rarely equates to quality. Pay cheap, pay twice. Make sure you do your research. Number four, call your cleaner one week prior to check they are still coming. Number five, if you have carpets, it's likely you will need to include a carpet wash, so check your contract. Number six, who leaves hairdressers without checking your hair? Check the clean before you pay. It's too late after you've left the salon and handed over your keys. Number seven, check, uh, sorry, leave the cleaning invoice in the property to be recorded in the checkout as professionally cleaned. Moving on, damage and decoration. What is fair wear and tear? Well, by living in a property, you will touch, knock, scuff, walk on carpets, etc. A reasonable amount of wear and tear is expected depending on how long you've been there. The hole in the wall from your mate's indoor trampoline accident or gouge marks up the stairwell wall from the sofa that didn't fit, they're not fair wear and tear. These need rectifying to a professional standard before you move out or you can expect a deduction. That's fair. Make sure you report all maintenance issues to your agent or landlord before you hand in notice and this avoids any confusion with damage. Gardening. It's much the same as cleaning really. Was the garden nice and tidy when you moved in? Is there any obligation to maintain the tenant uh, during the tenancy and leave in a tidy condition when you leave? If so, you comply most of the cleaning tips one to seven. Just change car, uh, cleaner to gardener. Renter is, well, it's pretty obvious. If you leave owing rent, it will be deducted from your deposit. If you pay your rent on time and in full, it's irrelevant. What to do after the checkout? Well, make sure you get a copy of the checkout report. Keep an eye out for mistakes in the checkout reports. They can happen as we are all human. That missing chair may be seen in the photo of bedroom two, for example, or the stain on the hallway carpet may have been missed from the inventory. If you're unsure of the correct process, reread the prescribed information document or contact the scheme where the deposit is registered. Deductions should be agreed within two weeks of the checkout. Now, if your agent or landlord takes no action, you can start a dispute yourself with the scheme. It's just a process at the end of the day and most agents and landlords try to be fair where possible. If you can, remain objective when communicating over deductions it will likely be smoother too. Just remember the cleaning. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Julian for Bishop Sullivan.